Hey y'all, today, as I do every Sunday, I will be doing my weekly rotation. And this is for the week ending the 10th of October. Doesn't time fly? Doesn't feel like seven days since I last did one of these? Dear me. Anyway. So... First off, on Monday, I went with... It was absolutely minging last Sunday. Last Monday, I beg your pardon. Last Monday was absolutely rotten. The weather, it felt like the sky was falling in. Honestly. Madness. Um, so I went with something a little bit different. Something I've been looking forward to wearing. And something a little bit like stronger and power, more powerful as well. And that is... Taste of Fragrance. By Moogler. This is the chili, the ch like some people call it pure chili, but it's not pure chili. Um, it's actually taste of fragrance, um, and it's fantastic. I highly recommend it. Um, if you can still find these in different places, um, and it's one of the. This is probably my favorite flanker. Um, everybody talks about pure Havan, pure malt. Ultra Zest. Ooh, I've also bought Ultra Zest. I will, I will, um, I will discuss that in another video. Um, I'm gonna have to do another Moogler family portrait. But anyway, uh, so this is what I did on. This is what I did wear on Monday. Um, yes. On Tuesday, it was still a bit foul. And I wanted something a little bit different. Something all of these I haven't worn already this the this autumn winter. Um so I decided to wear Volutes. Volutes. It is I mean you can see what I think of this. You see the dent I've put in the bottle. All these diptychs have great little artwork on the back. And I don't know what that is. Um but I should probably learn these things before I come on. But did you know what a volute is? It's a spiral shape, right? Um, this is a tobacco fragrance. Now, I used to think that this was, this had like a blackberry in it or blueberry, some sort of like berry sort of vibe. Um, but it's not. It's from the tobacco. Um, it smells like, you know, old cigarette, not old cigarette packets, but it's like cigarette packets when you take all the cigarettes out and you smell the packet on the inside. You get like almost like a sweetness. And that's what's in this. It's got that sweetness and it's got the tobacco. It's absolutely lovely. I absolutely loved it. There was talk that it was discontinued. My local boutique couldn't get it for ages. So I bought it back up on the air. Uh, I bought it back up from said from the internet. Um, and then. Like two weeks after it arrived, they were like, I was like, I was in the store and I was browsing and I was like, I don't know, a minute, that's a bottle of Volute. What are you doing? And they were like, oh yeah, came back in. Turns out it's not discontinued. Do you want a bottle? I was like, no. I was like, I've already bought one. I was like, you're costing us some money. Sort your lives out. Um, but yes, that's what I, that's what I wore on Tuesday. On Wednesday. I felt like continuing the tobacco trend and also the trend of wearing things that I haven't worn for a while. Well, no, not that I haven't worn for a while because this was the first time I'd worn this fragrance. And this is Vinnie Havan. God, it's small. There's a teeny little bottle, but look, there it is, Vinnie Havan. Um, this, for me, on me, the first time I wore it was pretty uneventful. I won't lie to you. I was... I thought it was going to be, I thought there was going to be more happening. Um, it's strong. It's sweet. It's nice. Um, it's quality. But I wore it and like, I didn't get much from it. Like, like it stayed pretty similar all, all day. And, and I didn't get like wafts of it. Like the other two that I wore, there's like all these perfumes, this that I've worn this week are like massive. Um, and this seemed to be the quietest of the bunch and it seemed to, it wasn't that it was fleeting. It wasn't as if it came and went. It was just sort of like very soft and not a lot came about. Um, 
So I was a little disappointed with it this week, I won't lie, but it's still a fantastic fragrance and it is the first time I've worn it, so maybe I just need to give it more. And I, I will be giving it more wearing, so we'll have to see. Uh, keep an eye out for when I talk about this again. Um, but that was what I went with on Wednesday. On Thursday, Thursday was a good day. Um, I wore... Vintage Santos de Cartier, right? This is a tester. I got it from Le Parfumier. Um, and it, is, it smells like 1981. Um, it really is quite a musky, like, old school. Hold on, don't spray it up your nose. Yeah, it's, oh, it's just a typical 80s masculine fragrance. It's absolutely lovely. Um, I would love for, like, a woman to wear these. You know, like these 80s masculine, like, powerhouses. Because now would be the time to wear them. You know? Like, with the whole... With the whole, like, zeitgeist of the world at the minute. With, like, androgyny being a big thing. And and the whole, like, breaking down of boundaries. I would love to smell these on a woman. Like, like big, hot... Like, it's like a vintage Koros as well. Um, in fact, I know a girl who used to wear that. Um... Stuff like Giacomo to Giacomo. That would be great on a woman. I've got Jazz and Vintage Calvin over there. Um, but I'm not getting them out because it would be a cloud on. But um, these are sensational. These are absolutely fantastic. It would be interesting to smell them on a woman. Like out of that, like the fragrances out of the like their remit, you know. Um be very interesting to smell, I think. But anyway, that's what I wore on Thursday. On Friday, da, 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 well, big boy, big boy. Bois de Argent. It's beautiful. I don't know if there's anything I can add to the debate about this. This is a pre-18, this is a pre-18 uh, reformulation. Uh, I think this is a 2015 bottle. Um, when are you from? Oh, it's a 2016 bottle. Oh, so this is like five years old. You can see the hole I've put in it. Um, again, this is a 450 milliliter bottle. Absolutely love it. Honey, iris myrrh. It's stunning and it's better in its old concentration. Sorry if you don't like that. Sorry if all you can get is the new one. Um... I, I, I feel for you genuinely because this is so much richer. It's so much thicker. It's so much more real. Um, I absolutely love it. And you can wear this year round. This is a year round perfume for me. Um, and it smells like it. It's got this sort of young. It's sort of timeless, but it's to me, it smells like young wealth, you know, like, that's just that's just sort of like what it smells like, but like not arrogant wealth, you know, like not like not like somebody who doesn't know to ha how to handle wealth, somebody who knows what money like is worth. Um, and if you compare, look, I've just seen this. Look, how dinky, how dinky Vanilla Havan is next to it. Um, it's such a big unit. Um, but yes, so that is what I wore on Friday. Friday was also a good day. Um, yesterday I went with one of my favourite fragrances ever, ever. Uh, I don't wear this as much as I should. I want a backup of this version and I wouldn't mind a backup. I've got a backup of the original as well. Um, I want a backup of the original as well, but I have actually got the original bottle. And that is M7 Oud Absolu. This is is a brilliant fragrance it's one of tom ford's it's one of the like early 2000s tom ford like madnesses that he produced you know like all those fragrances like gucci pour on two um envy gucci rush um he did pour he did uh reef gauche pour on as well on um for YSL, he produced a lot of good stuff in a short period of time. He did some of the ladies' fragrances as well, but I can't remember them for the life of us. Um, 
So yes, I wore this and enjoyed this. I'll expect to see this again. Uh, and you can see the dent. This is like an 80 milliliter bottle. You can see the dent I've put in it. Like absolutely love it. And last but not least, today, and speaking of dinky bottles, I only found the only reason I wore this is because I was going through my malls, the little 10 mil bottles I've got, and I didn't realize I had this in a 10 mil, so I thought I would wear it. And that is. Where are I? Portrait of a lady. Portrait of a lady. Another, for me, again, another all year round fragrance. You could wear this as a signature. You could wear this on special occasions. Um, it's absolutely fantastic. It's one of the best from Frederick Mall. Um, and it's, it lasts all day. It's so strong. Big cloves at the top. You've got to be careful if you don't like cloves. I'm coming to the realisation that I quite like cloves. Depending on what it's um depending on what it's blended with. This is like cloves, rose, and patchouli. It's a, it's it's very, very good. It's by Dominic Robion. Um and yes, I enjoyed I enjoyed wearing this today. I can still smell it and it's I'm filming this at like half seven at night. And I put this on as soon as I got up at like this morning. So Yes, I shall line these up so you can take a last look before I go. I look forward to doing these videos every week. Ah. Um, I quite enjoy them, I must admit. So there you have it. I'll, I'll lean back a little bit. There you go. This week's selection. Taste of Fragrance, Volute, Vinay Havan, Santos de Cartier, Bois d'Argent, M7, and Portrait of a Lady. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much. And I will see you again.